we are now going to look at um, the terms used in uh, describing a flower. A flower can be described in many forms. We can describe it in the, in the um, components it has. We can describe it according to the placement. We can describe it according to what it has and what it does not have. Uh, the first term that we normally use when we are describing a flower is complete flower. What we mean by a complete flower is a flower that has the gynoecium, it has the androecium, it has the corolla, and it has the carex. If it has those four components, then it is a complete flower. Then we can say that the flower is incomplete if it lacks one or more of the above, the carex, carora, androsium, and gynoecium. If it lacks any of those four, then it is called an incomplete flower. Another term that we can use is a perfect flower. A perfect flower is the flower that has both the male and the female reproductive parts. It is a flower that has both the male and the female reproductive part. It's what we refer to as a perfect flower. Then when we look also at the flower, there are many parts on the flower. But there are those ones that are essential and others that are non-essential. So this brings us to the introduction of another term, which is non-essential organs. The non-essential organs on the flower, we have the calyx and the carora. But the essential parts on a flower, we have the reproductive organs which are the gynoecium and uh, androsia then uh, another term that we use is the regular flower a regular flower is a flower that can be divided into two similar halves you get a flower and cut it into two so that this part this side is similar to this side. If that one happens, then that one is called a regular flower. But if you cut through the middle and this part does not resemble or is not similar with this one, that one we give it a term as an irregular flower now flowers can be hermaphrodites a flower is hermaphrodite if it possesses both the stamen and the carpals Unisex, this is a flower that has either the stamens or it has a couple. 
a flower is said to be unisex if it only has stamens or it only has couples. And staminates, staminates are flowers with male stamens only. Are flowers with stamens only. Well, as the pistillate, these are flowers with only couples. With only couples. Those are what we refer to as the pistillate. Then we have the monaceous. Monaceous, this is where the pistillate and the stamen net are on the same plant. You have the pistillate flower, staminate flower, are on the same plant. They may not be together, but they are on the same plant. That one we refer it as monoecious. And when the pistillate and the stamate flowers are separate, then we call them diaceous. Diaceous. The super ovary. Ovary is above other floral parts on the receptor. If the ovary is above the other floral parts, like the petals, sepals, epicalyx, then that one is known as a superior ovary. An ovary will be inferior if the other floral parts are above the ovary on the receptor. So those are some of the few terms that we use when we are describing the flowers. We have seen the superior ovary, inferior ovary part, documents uh, concerning about the pistillates, monaceous, diaceous, staminates, unisex, hermaphrodite. We have listed about uh, common complete flowers, incomplete flowers, perfect flowers. We have looked at essential organ flowers. We have non-essential organs, irregular flowers, hermaphrodite flowers, and many others. So when we come back next time, we shall look at the inflorescence.